I do notes. So for example, if I'm going to use Bob Chaucer, I'm going to use some footwork, use some Duma, if he's coming in, things that I don't want to do, this clash. I don't want to be tense in my wrist. I don't want to be clashing. I want to get to a point where I can just slide down the arm and then lock from there. My bongs are my bong choice. It's just looking for something to touch so I know where it is. So before he's got a chance to move, I've got his positions, okay? For example, when I'm doing jumps up, if he comes in, I'm using my jumps up, there it is. The hands have got to be quick. Because if I go and he knows what he's doing, he's already hit me, okay? Any technique that we do, any follow-up, any bit of fun, so is always straight down the same line. Okay, we're looking to cover the middle. We're looking to cover the centre line that he's given me. I'm not looking to go here, to the side, to the side, to his chest. To, I'm looking to cover down the middle because if I hit him to the shoulder, he turns. All right? If I hit him in the stomach, the head comes down. If I hit him straight through his middle, he'll just drive back because it'll absorb that energy. So I don't want to be here, 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 and here, like this. You understand? Because with a double punch, sorry Chris, but with a double punch I can move them away. I can cause the problems that I need to cause. What's the benefits of that? Can, can stand in the center line? Always staying on the centre line will help you destroy what's in front of you. Then comes your footwork. So if he's coming in and I use a punch, for example, here, and I hit him, what's going to happen at the very least? Head may go back, he may slide to your back. So I'm not going to want to stand there and go, he's out of range. I don't want to go, because I've got no need to step on that first technique. All I do is screw everything up for myself. So I've got to know my distance. So if he moves from that position, I can then follow in and work from positions that I need to work from. So you've got to know when to use your feet and not be like this, or not be a first technique, be like this. I know everyone thinks about Wing Chun being fighting in a phone box, and it is, it really is, but it's how you get there. And the other thing you've got to remember is you're not 22 foot away either side of a ring. Meet him in the middle, ready to work your way around here. Wing Chun fighting up concepts of it are from confrontation distance. If he's there shouting his mouth off at me, I don't want to go, what? I'm not a footballer. What? Well, hope everyone's going to pull me back. If he's shouting his mouth off from there, let's let him shout his mouth off. But if he's here, and we're going to go, bye, 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 bye. yeah, from there. Do you understand? So get your distance, get your technique correct, get your energy off, speed, position of centre line. Do you all understand that? Easy enough. Let's go. Cheers, Chris.